What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be focusing on our arms, both biceps and triceps, and for the first time in Saturno movement ever, we're gonna be using weights. We're gonna be using barbells and dumbbells, and of course, we're gonna be combining that with calisthenics so we get the best out of both worlds. This routine is especially designed for hypertrophy, basically increasing lean uh, body mass, but as always, you can adjust the reps time and the rest and everything to fit your own individual level, whether you wanna do it for a strength or whether you wanna be doing it for for more endurance base. You're gonna have a free PDF down below to have more information that everything that we're gonna be covering on this video. And also this routine is divided into five blocks. We're gonna be having blocks with weights and calisthenics, some blocks with only calisthenics, some blocks with only weights, some blocks that are only triceps, and some blocks that are only biceps. That way you can pick and choose. And if you don't wanna do the entire routine, maybe you don't like to train only arms, you can grab a couple of blocks of your liking and you can add it at the end of your routine. Ideally, a pull push routine if you're grabbing triceps and biceps or a pull routine if you're doing biceps or a push routine if you're doing triceps. All the information is gonna be down in the description. And with that being said, I'll see you in the video. All right, guys, we begin this workout with two main compound exercises for our triceps and our biceps. First one is gonna be weighted tricep dips with a tempo of 2011. That only means that we're coming down for two seconds. We are not holding at the bottom, one second on the positive, and then we hold at the top on that maximum contraction. We're going for six to 10 reps. So if you need to add weight to make the exercise intense, you can go ahead and do that to fall between that rep range. And also for the form on this particular exercise, instead of leaning forward, which will put more uh, emphasis on your shoulders and on chest, you wanna be trying to go as straight down as you possibly can. And the leaning forward is not gonna come from your entire body, but simply retract your shoulders as much as possible. That way we open into the chest and we create that straight line that is gonna emphasize more our triceps. And then we move on right away into one and a half chin-ups, simply a regular chin-up, but we go all the way up, then we go 90 degrees a hole, and then we go up and down. The tempo is gonna be the same as this one. Now here we go a little bit more complex since we have two eccentrics and another concentric. So simply put one second on the positive portion, then holding it one second on that 90 degree portion, and you go one more time up, and then the eccentric, which is two seconds, it is the most important part. Again, six to 10 reps. If you need to add weight, add weight. Uh, my dad, which actually, let's bring it over. Come over here. For the sec third time in Saturday Movement, <laughs> thank you for being here. <laughs> he's gonna be doing a, an easier variation. So he's not, not gonna be using weight for the dips and he's gonna be using a band for the chin-ups. That way for all of you guys beginners that can adjust the exercise to your level. So are you ready for this? Ready. Let's get it. Go to the dip bar. Let me actually set myself up. I'm gonna use only a 25 plate. I don't think I need more than that. Voy a empezar a calentar. Prepararte mentalmente. I'm putting this backwards. So remember trying to make a straight line all the way down and up. Let's go to the bar. Let's try to go for as many reps as we can. Ideally one rep short of failure, but trying to fall between that six to 10 reps. So all the way up, let's go. Go through the shoulders, retract your shoulders, come down for one, two, zero, pause, one, hold, one, repeat. Down, two, two, three, shoulders he press down the entire time, four, five, six, two more, yeah. let's go. One, that's good for him. <laughs> Make it one more, get into that eight. The infinite number, drop it down. And without any break, you can obviously rest pause as much as you need to. And let's go. So when I have chin-ups, he's gonna be using a band. And I don't feel like using weights today for the chin-up. Let's get it up. 
chin up grip, basically supinated grip. One, two, three, all the way up. Down 90 degree, up. That's one, all the way up. Down 90 degree, up. And down, that's two. Up, 90 degree, up. That's three, let's go. Up, 90 degree, up, and down. That's four for me, four for him. Let's go. I'm gonna go for five. And all the way up. Good job. <laughs> so this is an amazing example. I could have gone for seven or eight, but sometimes staying away two to three reps shy of failure, whether you have three more sets or two more sets if you're going for three to four. So always leave some reps in the tank. There is no that amount of benefit of always going to failure. There is a place for that. That's gonna be at the end. We'll see you in the next block. Right, family, we continue with another two exercises. This time we're gonna be using weights, another two compound exercises that emphasize the bicep and the tricep, but our exercises are, are easy to overload, meaning that you can add weight week by week, ideally, uh, 5% of what your maximum weight did. Do not go too crazy and try to just simply apply the typical progressive overload. Two exercises, close grip bench press. Regular bench press, the only difference is gonna be our hands are gonna be slightly more forward, so not to the chest height, but around the first rectus abdominal. And you're gonna push with a close grip. That's gonna emphasize the tricep. And another tip is not to stretch your chest completely. That's gonna involve the chest a little more. So just stay on this range of motion. Pretty close. Tempo is going to be 2011, meaning one second coming up, one second at the peak contraction, and then two seconds on the negative. I'm going to go for six to 10 reps again, staying on that hypertrophy range, but still on the lower end of hypertrophy. Then standing bicep curls, we're going to grab some dumbbells. Again, a weight that is challenging to do six to 10 reps, but if you get to five, that's okay. And if you get to 11, that's okay. Effort, it is what matters. Tempo is going to be the same. And on this exercise, we're gonna go from complete neutral grip to full supination of the grip. Your biceps perform just like that. <laughs> Your biceps perform uh, elbow flexion, but it also is a supinator. So we're gonna get that in this uh, exercise. And you're also gonna bring your elbow slightly forward because the long head of the bicep is attached to the shoulder. Basically, you get it more involved. You get the three functions of the bicep. Choose a weight that is challenging again, six to 10 reps. No break in between these two exercises, three to four sets. He's gonna go first for the tricep, then I'm gonna go for the tricep, then he's gonna go for the bicep. I'm gonna go for the bicep just because we have one barbell, one bench, and only a pair of dumbbells. But if you guys are doing this, make sure you do the tricep and as little rest as possible, you jump into the bicep. So let's get it. You ready for this? Let's go. Right. Let's go, let's get this out of the way. Forgot to mention the resting time in between sets. You wanna keep them as short as possible since we're doing hypertrophy, but enough that you're able to push yourself on the next set. Ideally, 90 seconds to 120 seconds, or if you're feeling optimistic, 60 seconds. But form above everything, technique above everything, it's not a matter of going fast, unless you're short in time. So, a little bit closer, más cerrado. Un poquito más cerrado. Ahí. Bring the bar slightly forward. There you go. You got this. One. Keep the elbows in as much as possible. Two. Three. Tempo is perfect. As you can see, it's only lowering down onto here. Four. Nice. There. Five. Hold at the top for one second. Eso es. Aguanta arriba cuando hagas el contrapié. Aguanta un segundo. Baja por dos. One. Zero pause. One second coming up. One second hold. One more. One more. You got this. Lower down. Una más. Okay. He's doing way more than two seconds now. <laughs> Straight at the top. That's good. One more. Okay. This is comfortable. Keep those shoulders depressed the entire time. Push yourself up. Okay, he's feeling optimistic. I lost count, but your body doesn't understand number. Now I'm gonna curl this. <laughs> Ice. Hurry up, yeah. All right, my turn. Long time I don't do weight, probably like a year or something. <laughs> but it's always fun to go back to our uh, initial stages. Here, slightly closer. Good. Yeah, perfect. Lower down. One. Two, zero pause, one, one. One, two, zero pause, one, one. That's two. Push away from you, instead of like a regular bench press, try to keep like a 90 degree angle the entire time with your elbow, I mean with your bicep and your forearms, or tricep and forearms. 
I got one more. Oof. All yours. Thank you. Whew. Okay, that's all good. <laughs> now standing bicep curls. Over there. Start from neutral all the way into full supination. Imagine that your pinky finger is the one that is curling, like exaggerate the supination to get a little more involvement. Go up. Nice. And control that negative two seconds, dos segundos lado. One, control the negative. Y rota, yes. Rotate after 90 degrees to get more of that supination action in the entry portion. Perfect. You see how she's bringing the elbow slightly forward? That's probably a bodybuilder technique. I didn't solve him anything, and he's doing it right. Nice. He's holding that one second at the top, even though he's not understanding the tempo that I'm saying. He's actually doing it right. One second, one second, one, two. Zero path. Back up, one, 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 two. Again, I lost count, but should be good. Okay, good. Contaste? Okay, he, he went for 12. Just still the hypertrophy range. You're still building the muscle. Amazing job. Maybe next time he should do a little bit more weight and fall into that rep range. One time I'll grab dumbbells as well. <laughs> Let's go for this. So brace your core. Everything should be tight. Even if it's an isolation exercise, you want to engage your entire muscle. Body. <laughs> One. I miss this pump. <laughs> Seven. Eight. And let's finish with two more. Eleven. And twelve. There you go. Another tip, you don't wanna be stopping right on the top. This is a very relaxing position for your bicep. That's why we bring the elbow slightly forward. You just hold it here. That is the one second that you're holding. This could be a thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. All right, family, now things are getting a little bit more intense. We're gonna go now for four exercises. Now we're gonna be combining weights and calisthenics. We're gonna begin with tricep, one a compound, all calisthenics exercises are mostly compound, a one compound tricep a on body weight. Then we're gonna be going a little bit more into the higher reps for the tricep as well with weight. Then another body weight uh, for the bicep and then a, a complementary uh, more on the higher rep with weight again for the bicep. So skull crushers, eight to 12 reps. You can either do them on rings. Now we have the ability to get a deeper stretch, especially on the longer head. You can do it on rings or you can do it on a bar. Then we move on into prone tricep kickbacks. We're gonna be laying down in a bench and getting this motion right here. The reason that we're doing it prone laying down is to avoid any roundiness or low, low back pain and to really just focus on the movement. And now instead of getting a deeper stretch on the longer head, we get a deeper contraction on the long head, which is the only head of the tricep, which is actually uh, uh, crosses the shoulder joint because it's attached to the scapula. Then we move on into bicep. Pelican curls, again, now we put the bicep into a deeper stretch, uh, especially for the long head, which is the one that creates that peak. Uh, eight to 12 reps, and then we move on with a finisher of that exercise. Incline dumbbell cur curls, we're gonna incline the bench, and we're gonna be doing curls in this motion. So instead of going here, we put the elbow slightly behind and shoulder uh, extension, and we drive those shoulders down like basically we're doing a row we're still doing that supination as much as we can and we're still doing elbow flexion as much as we can but now we're preferentiating uh, the long head of the bicep you are ready for this right. let's go for it tempo and everything else i'm gonna be talking as we go or you can download the pdf down below so we begin with triceps eight to twelve reps tempo is two zero one zero two second negative and one second concentric without zero pause so let's begin Set it up, lower down, keep your body straight, good. And then push the wall, that's one. Lower down, if you want a deeper stretch, you can get here, but be careful with your shoulders, two, good. Three, keep your core tight as much as you can. Four, I like to keep my scapula protracted a little bit. 
fills my, protects my shoulder. This is one of the dangerous zones for my shoulder. Two more. Let's go. A deeper stretch. And push. Deeper stretch. Bring the shoulder inflection. And push. Good. Now he's gonna go first. Here. So I can take a little bit of a rest. Ideally, you wanna go from one exercise to the other. He's gonna lay down in a prone position. But it's completely straight. If you wanna add some posterior pelvic tilt to work on your uh, body line for Hansons, you can do that. But let's focus on the triceps this time. Keep the elbows in as much as possible. Hold aguantarrillo for two seconds. So tempo is, is two, zero, one, two, meaning that the positive is one second. He holds for one, two, then two second negative. One, two. One, one, two, one, two. One, one, two, one, two. Try to keep the elbow always on the highest spot. Baja sin bajar el elbow. Eso es, there you go. Let's go for three more. One. Now we're going a little bit more in the higher rep range, so 10 to 15. I believe these are like 10 to 15 pounds, so go very light and focus on that peak contraction at the top. Maybe one more, one more, one more. Now hold it instead of for two, let's hold it for three. Three, three, two, one, and release. <laughs> good job. ¿Qué tal? Bien. Bien. Good. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so let's see how many do I got in here. So we go one second at the top, then one, two, two seconds coming down. That's one. Let's go four, nine more at least, two. Elbows begin to drop, that means that it's getting tired. Let's get two more, 11, and 12. So I couldn't keep the tempo on the, those last two, but as long as you're getting some contraction and you are not breaking form as much as you're not breaking that much form, then you're good to go. Biceps, let's go. Let's go towards the bar. You can do this on rings. Uh, ideally, they are kind of easier on rings. He had some uh, shoulder pain when he tried on the rings, so we're gonna do it on the bars. Come over here, okay. here. Your feet, obviously, the longer the lever, the harder it's going to be. And the shorter the level, or the closer your feet are forward, the easier it's going to be. I'm gonna go shoulder width, poquito más cerrado. A little bit wider than shoulder width. Retract your scapula, bring back, and pull. Hold for one second, then lower down. One, two, and one second coming up. One, two, Good, one, two, you can keep a false grip. It helps and try to get that bicep into max contraction. This is probably the most important part of this movement, getting that contraction on the most length and position of the bicep. So three more, one. Oh, he's making it hard. <laughs> two. Let's go. <laughs> and three. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Now, uh, finish up burning up the bicep, preferentiating the long head. Come on, okay. He clearly lifts more weights than me, or he uses benches more than me. <laughs> Let's go. Right? <laughs> so again, the tempo here is two, zero, one, two. Two second negative, one second concentric, two second at the top is the most important part. You go up, I want the seconds. One, two, lower down for two. Lower, one, two, dos segundos. Un segundo para arriba. One, two, empieza a bajar. One, two, un segundo para arriba. Good. One, two, lower down. One, two, perfect tempo. So you can see, drive those elbows behind you. Really even retract your scapula to get a little more shoulder extension and get more contraction, more lengthening in this case of the bicep. 
This is gonna allow for a greater contraction. Another tip, once you get to the bottom, activate your tricep by reflex. It's gonna uh, allow your bicep to contract a little bit stronger on that uh, concentric portion. Nice, it's actually doing like a three, zero, one, two tempo. Focus on that negative, especially if your goal is hypertrophy, which is this routine is especially designed for that. Then really, really get that peak contraction, really, really control that negative as much as possible. You don't need to use a metronome or uh, pay attention to the tempo. As long as you're controlling that movement, you're feeling the muscle fibers breaking. Mind-muscle connection is another important one. Good. Focus on that supination once you get to the top. Good. Give me two more. Dos más. Toma. One. And again, we're using very light weight, trying to fall between that 10 to 15 reps. If you get to 15 and you know that you could have gone to 20, that's way too light. If you go to eight, I would recommend to lower the weight. That way we target both fibers, the type one, type two. This case, this case, uh, type one, slow twitch. All right, let's go for some 15. So full supination, you curl, but you also do like a little row to create that contraction of the bicep. That's one. Let's go for 12 more. As you can see when I'm going up, this is supination. I want you to force that supination Imagine your pinky finger is the only one that is trying to lift the weight. Lower with control. Up. More shoulder extension. Down. Up. Down. If you want another challenge, you can go up. Lower one down. Bring it up. Lower the other one down. Bring it up. Left. Down. Down. And then two more with both. One, and two. This was probably a little bit lighter. If you're doing these two exercises, the prone kickbacks and the bicep curls, I would recommend to grab around five to 10 pounds more on the bicep ones. But again, it depends. You might be way too strong on your tricep than in your bicep. This block, you wanna repeat it for two to four sets, a little bit more range. You can either do it two times, depending if you're doing this as an add-on of a complete routine, or you can go for the four full rounds. We'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, now we're gonna be doing on the last two blocks, block four and block five. Block four is gonna be dedicated to the triceps and block five is gonna be dedicated to the biceps. So for the triceps, we're gonna be doing a super set and a drop set as well. So we're gonna be two exercises. First one is gonna be bench dips in a drop set fashion. This movement right here, we're using two box in order not to have our shoulders locked in these positions. We can be dangerous for some people, so we have some more space to allow for a free movement on the shoulder joint. We're gonna be going for Adding weight, ideally four to six reps. We are going to maximum reps or as many as you possibly can. Maybe one left in reserve, but here we're trying to completely nail down and kill our triceps. So the first one is gonna be four to six reps, maximum. Then we're gonna drop the weight and wanna go for eight, 10 to 12 reps. I wanna drop that weight and wanna go for 15. The tempo is gonna be one, zero, one, zero. So the negative is gonna be a little bit faster, simply one second coming down, and then one second coming up without any pass on any portion. A little bit more explosive this time. Then we're gonna combine that with banded single arm tricep push downs. So we're gonna grab a pen, and we're gonna go for as many reps as we can, ideally falling between six to 15 reps. Until you cannot go any longer, you wanna move on to the next one, second arm, then this arm, then this arm, for three times on each arm, and that completes one set. The tempo on this one is the same as this one, but with a two at the end, one, zero, one, two, meaning one second coming down, but you hold that bottom position, that contraction, for two seconds. This whole thing, you can repeat it for one time, should be more than enough, or you can go for three times, I mean, if you wanna accumulate more volume on your triceps or on the biceps on the next one. You ready for this? Right. Let's get it. So he's gonna go first on the first exercise, then I'm gonna go for second on the first exercise, and then we're gonna be doing together the second exercise. But remember that for you guys, you wanna be doing this as a drop set, then right away going into the band as a drop set as well. So, feet on the bench. You create some space here for him to go down. Put the first plate, he slaps. 
second plate. Claps, is that good? Nice, one, lower a little more, two. Sure your shoulders are down and depressed the entire time. Four, perfect. Five, six, seven, eight, okay, nine. That's probably way too little weight for him. <laughs> 10, give me 10 more. Give me 12, 13, 14, or four, five, six, seven. Squeeze those elbows together. Yeah. All right, good. It's clearly burning out now. One, two, three, four, raise your chin. Yes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good. <laughs> so you went for 30. Uh, well, let's, see, let's see if I can go for 30. All right, let's go. <laughs> right there, a little bit higher, un poquito más arriba. There we go. There. You can also bend your legs a little bit. So shoulders down, deep press, elbows in, lower down one second, then one second up. One. Good. Now to horse the bands, I got a little disadvantage in here. It's more fresh, but no excuses. With the right first, elbow tuck into your body, slight shoulder uh, elbow flexion, shoulder flexion, and then shoulder extension all the way down and come up. Hold, hold for one second, and then up. Down. Three. Ooh. Four. He's also had an advantage because he's taller. So my arm gave up on six. I'm gonna move on to the next one. You go max, be al maximo y cambio. Six. Six. As long as you're getting more than four, it's a good range to go for. And once again, your body doesn't understand numbers. Even if you're going on a, or I'm going on a lower rep range, you can also see this positive, on that negative. I come from doing 30 reps, so your body still counts those reps, especially when it's the same muscle group. I'm missing that peak contraction. <laughs> now grab one side only, let's make it easier. Side, a lot. <laughs> and eight. You wanna bump it up a little more? One, two, three, four. You know you're tired when you try to do this, and you get to four, and that's it. Burn it out, burn it out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, that's why he got way, way twice my side of my arm. <laughs> let's get it, let's get it, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> we'll see you on the bicep one. <laughs> All right, family, time to annihilate our biceps to finish off. We're gonna have two exercises, again, using weights. It's gonna be concentrated two waist curls. We're gonna be going for concentrated curls, which is on this position right here, we're gonna be sitting down on the bench with a very light to moderate dumbbell, since we're gonna be going for a 
as many as we can, ideally on the 12 to 15 or the higher end range on one side, then as many as we can on the other side, then we repeat with the same weight. So instead of doing 12, we might get to eight or six to 12. You're basically gonna be doing less reps, but going to failure on every single arm, then switching, failure, failure, failure. You might do three sets or you might do four or five sets if you wanna get. I put four and then failure, basically, once you're gonna do like more than two reps is when you stop the exercise and you move to the other one. The tempo is one, zero, one, one. Uh, one second negative, one second concentric with one second on that peak contraction. Now it is a two ways curl, meaning that we're gonna be doing a, a for one rep is gonna be with full supination of the form to focus on entire bicep itself. And then we're gonna pronate our arm to focus more on the brachialis, which performs only uh, elbow flexion. And you're taking not the bicep completely out of the equation, but you are allowing the brachialis to, the, to do the most amount of work on this exercise. Then after we kill both arms, we're gonna move on to plate hammer curls. We're gonna grab a 25 plate. You can grab a 10 or a 45, whichever you like. You can also grab some dumbbells and do regular hammer curls. Again, now we are preferentiating the brachialis as well, but instead of full pronation, we do in neutral grip. We still involve the bicep, but we also focus on that little muscle that, well, little muscle that we sometimes we don't pay attention to. You can do only one set of the entire thing, or you can do one, two, three sets. On the play hammer curls, we are going for 12 to 20, so a very big range. That means uh, that's because if you get to 12 and that's failure, that's totally fine. If you get to 20 and that's failure, that still work. And since we're using plates, it's very hard to find a very small number for all of us. So even if you get to 12 and you die, that's fine. If you get to 25 and you die, that's fine. It is the pumper exercise, it's our final exercise. So we can go a little bit lighter because our biceps are gonna be burned out. You're ready for this. Let's go. <laughs> Oof, mine. <laughs> yes. So grab your dumbbell. Do not go too heavy on this one, it's not necessary. Elbows here is not on top of the knee right here resting and then we go one one second hold then lower down up and pronate as much as you can loosen the brachialis that's one one so for two two three three four four Pronate as much as you can, and then supinate as much as you can, getting the peak and getting the width of the bicep. I lost count, but again, it is not important to count, especially in this exercise. Of course, if you get to 30 and you can do more, that's probably way too late. This was probably way too late for us, but I'm gonna keep doing it anyways. Switch. Oh, it's gonna go. <laughs> One more each. Okay, switch. <laughs> I'll switch it up. One arm gets the rest. The other one gets to work. Two. Three, your back is straight. You're not like rounding. Even though we're doing weights and we're isolating the muscles, you still wanna make it as functional as possible. You still wanna be aware of the body. You still wanna be grabbing all those insights and lessons. Not because you're lifting dumbbells or because you're lifting your body weight, makes it any difference to learn. Make sure you're also focusing on your breathing, you're just holding your breath. Again, just like you were doing yoga or any type of body weight training, awareness is key. Switch. We're probably not going to failure. We'll probably have like five. Other side. One. This is definitely way too light. But again, you can copy the form, but do not copy the intensity because if I'm talking just like this, it's probably way too easy. Just to give this video short, let's switch. If you guys want to do us do this with more weight, you can comment down below. But again, it's not about the weight, especially in an explanation video. It's all about showing you guys the proper form, proper technique, and the right approach.
two of the biceps. One more pronated. Switch. Right. Switch. Right. Switch. Right. Switch. Right. Switch. Right. Switch. Switch. If you find that you are way too light of a weight, you can create a more negative contraction you like. So when I go very, not heavy in this exercise, but when I go to true failure, I literally go until my arm cannot go up any longer. And what I do is I assist myself to go up and then I control that negative. They want to go up and then control that negative. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> now let's get to the plate. So we got 12 to 20. Since that was way, way too easy, we might as well get to 20, right? Let's go with that. 20. Ah, 20. Okay. Let's finish off. Stay, body straight. So up for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ten points. One zero, one zero. Yeah, he's telling me to be aware with my face. I actually hit my nose <laughs> like three weeks ago. Yeah, the cameraman is really is laughing. <laughs> Fabian. <laughs> All right, let's go. Eight more. Ocho. Two. Three. That was a bad idea. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Woo! <laughs> Job. <laughs> so there you, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. My biceps are like more sore, or they will be more sore than they've ever been. It's been a long time that I don't train arms. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, if you like this type of routine, more hypertrophy base, which we haven't done in a while, please let us know in the comment section down below and also what else you wanna see on this channel. And we'll make sure to do that. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content like this. Like, share, and you all, what, you all know what to do. We'll see you next week. Watch love. What is up guys? Today we're gonna be working on our arms, biceps, and triceps, and <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> and place it at the end of your pull push routine for an additional volume on your arms, or you can do the entire five blocks and the entire, basically the entire routine, so you can, the entire routine. Uh... It's going pretty well. My triceps are like no contracting anymore. Like they're gone. <laughs> but ready to kill the bicep on that last one. Uh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> arepas, arepas. Do you guys like arepas? 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 <laughs>